three, two, one. Hey, welcome to Wednesday's version of MLB Central. Let's go. What do you mean, no? I said, let's go. I thought she said no. I thought she said no, too. (laughs) Welcome to Wednesday's edition of MLB Central Digital Style. I'm here with my two favorite people in the world. I got Mark Jahadi and I got Robert Flores. What are you guys getting into on a Tuesday afternoon leading into Wednesday morning? Uh, do you I tried celery juice. What'd Your you, morning ritual. Honestly, what'd you it, think? Honestly, it was terrible. It's like a less good version of celery. It's like the worst parts of celery in a glass. And it's terrible. But I'm going to try again. It, it's the hill for me to die on right now. I'm going to be honest with you. This has taken all the bloat away. This is, this is my new craze. 2020, I am all in on the celery juice. It's helping out, Robert. I don't know what you're doing. I, ha- I had a uh, I had a cookie cake uh, that oh. I f- finished off a couple days ago. But you ordered a Peloton, so that's good. Yeah, yep, that too. It, honestly, Peloton ordering is that a scam or will <laughs> you use it? Oh, I'll definitely use it. I'll definitely use it in six um, months. It's just going to take a while to get here. So, like how long? Uh, I'll get it by uh, November. <laughs> Are we ready gonna, for a little They're going to put it together on your front step, and then they're just going to leave it there, anything. and you're going to never bring it in the house. Right. I'm just going to just do my thing office. out of the front porch. <laughs> I need some competition in our lives, gentlemen. So a little game of oh. yes, no, maybe so on tap. Are you ready? Self-explanatory. Of course, Francisco Lindor will end the 2021 season as an Indian, set to become a free agent after 2021, entering his age 26 season. What say you, Dira? He should, right? He should. That's not the game. Yes, no, maybe so. Owner of the Cleveland Indians, if you're ever going to pay anyone and step out, isn't this isn't this who you pay? A charismatic, handsome, pop from both sides of the plate, a pure entertainer, somebody you would pay to bring your kids to go watch play. So, with that being said, no, he's not going to end up with the Cleveland <laughs> Indians because they've made it obvious that they're not going to sign him long term, as of now. So. No, I see him playing somewhere else, which which is probably going to be a shame for the fans of Cleveland. Yeah, I, I, I'm with Dero. I mean, when the owner, uh, well before we we got into this uh, uh, terrible situation, he's, yeah. he kind of he indicated that uh, hey, get your last looks at uh, Francisco yeah. Lindor while you can. So I, I'm with Dero. I, I don't think he ends. Uh, he, I think he's going to be headed somewhere else sometime soon. You're right, Robert. I think his words were enjoy him now. The largest yeah. Indians contract given to Edwin Encarnacion, January of 2017, three years, wow. 60 million to your point, Dero. At some point in his career, this is interesting because he's a showstopper and you love him. Shohei Otani will lead the league in wins Man. and home runs. No yes, no, maybe so. At the no. same time, right? Yeah, come on. Come on. No way. No, that's too, awesome. much to, that's too much to ask from him. Uh, honestly, uh, the wins part of it. Homers, he might. The pop I've seen, he might. But for him to go out, if they're going to really, over a 162, be able to keep him healthy and on the mound, I think it might have to be in like a hybrid bullpen version. I don't know if he just has enough starts per year yeah. to warrant the wins, but the homers could be interesting. What if I said separate years? I, I could see that. I could see him leading the league in wins and homers in separate years uh, just because he has that kind of out-of-this-world talent. But I'm with D-Row. I think in the same year, I think it's too difficult. And not Dara, expected to Dara, pitch. Hey, Lauren, they're a super interesting team because I don't think people realize, like, Julio Tehran is going to give you depth and innings and is better I than don't. you think. If Dylan Bundy recaptures some glory with Otani – with Rendon, like you said, they could be interesting. We talked to Dave Martinez on Monday, and he was like, man, we missed him in, his, in our lineup, and anyone would, that's for sure. Mookie Betts will be a long-term Dodger. Yes, no, maybe so. Keep in mind, the Dodgers have at least $122 million committed in 2021, and that's when Justin Turner's $20 million comes off the books. d It's going to be so hard for Mookie Betts to judge based off this season. I mean, a full year in L.A. with the fans in the stadium, living that L.A. lifestyle, he's not going to get that. He's going to get an empty stadium 
and an interesting view of, of the Dodger fa- franchise. Do I think he obviously, they're one of the teams that is going to push, I mean, for him to sign there long term. But I think he's an interesting guy. I would have thought he stayed in Boston. He didn't. Now L.A. with the pandemic situations and how the season's going to play out. I, I don't know. I'm going to say I'm going to throw maybe. That's a tired answer, but I'm going to go maybe. <laughs> it is, by the way. Pass yeah. on a lot of money, Robert. I, I, I'm with, I'm with Dero. I hate to, you know, just follow up and say the same thing. But there, uh, I'm going to say maybe so just because there is, there is so much we don't know about what the game is going to look like, both on the field, economically, things like that. So um, I, I, it's just unfortunate bad timing and bad luck uh, for, for Mookie Betts because, yeah, I mean, if under normal conditions, this guy could basically name his price. And I think that the, the, that the Dodgers are one of the few teams, maybe the only team that could afford Mookie's price. But with so much uncertainty, I'll go maybe so. Maybe so is your answer. Maybe so is a scam, by the way. It I is. mean, that's yeah. the name of the game, but, but we don't really But want it was an option. You Kick gave aside. We love Eric Burns, um, and he was extremely talented in Major League Baseball. His wiffle ball skill sense leave a little bit to be desired, right? Um, yeah. Freddie Freeman's son, we've seen him on social media. His name is Charlie, and he is killing the game. So my question is, Freddie's son would beat Burns in a wiffle ball home run. <laughs> I can't even say. Home run derby. Yes, no, maybe so. I, I would have said He's yes. He's like four, by the way. No, Charlie is one of the cutest kids ever. I would have said yes to Charlie, but I've been following during this quarantine, I've been following Eric Burns' Instagram, and he's been putting on this wiffle ball tournament or stickball tournament with his son, yep. little Bam Bam, and he's got his swing grooved in right now. So I'm going Burns. He takes Charlie Freeman down. What? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go okay. no as well. I'm gonna go no as well. I, I think uh, Burnsy would rise to the occasion and find a way to beat that four-year-old <laughs> and bring his foot reflexology along with it. I think. Hey, I don't know if you've seen CC Sabathia lately. Maybe you have, and if you have, what? What? I saw it. <laughs> I saw it too. You're gonna be impressed. Kevin Millar would be able to lose as much weight. As CC Sabathia, Robert, have you seen this picture? I'm getting Whoa. Your, I'm yeah. getting an authentic response, which I like. I have I have seen him w- with the weight loss. I have not seen him be that jacked. Buff. That's celery, celery juice. That's celery juice. You're oh, welcome. Stop it. <laughs> Man, good for CC. That's great. He looks unbelievable. He looks honestly, great. he looks unbelievable. What's your answer? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, I'm going to say doesn't have, Millard doesn't have the work ethic to yeah. get to the about the is. Yeah, that's a no it's for over, me. It's over for Kevin. It's jet skis, tubing, and occasional intentional talk. <laughs> occasional <laughs> from his house. That's it. I mean, he's thrown in the towel. <laughs> yeah. And, and by the way, why can't this show get sponsored? What? This show needs to be sponsored, we, by the way. Darn it, it should be. We're not. No. <laughs> No, if it was sponsored hey, at the but, top, you would say, welcome to MLB Central presented by exactly. Celery Blues. Oh. Hey, uh, you, but you know what could put us over the top? Uh, my continued battles head-to-head with current major leaguers in MLB The Show. I'm going to be taking on, yeah, that's right, Brett Phillips of the Kansas City Royals. That's going to be at uh, 3 o'clock Eastern at twitch.tv slash MLB Network. If you're watching this past 3 p.m. Eastern, it's still going to be up. I'll have it on my Facebook page as well, so look out for that. Do the people, you're supposed to close the show, by the way. I right know, I know. Okay, well, there was a pause. What? Robert, I'm yeah. getting a lot of people on my social media timelines telling me that I, during MLB The Show that I'm very, um, I rip their team, I rip their lineup a lot. I'm, I'm not nice. Do you I, get no, that No, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, there are a couple times where, you'll, where you will voice a negative opinion, but I feel like you're, for the most part, pretty right down the middle. Okay. Do the hey, tonight I got something. I'm, I'm doing something interesting tonight just to throw this out there for no reason. Okay. <laughs> UPenn alumni speaker series, 7 o'clock tonight. I'm talking to my old, old college, a bunch of students. And I stuff. love that. What's your one piece of advice you're going to give them? <sighs> Go back. Well, you should probably work on it. <laughs> street, street smarts is more important than book smarts. Oh, that's awesome. You tell a bunch of students. Great. That's awesome. It's awesome. Good stuff. All right, everyone, we'll be back with you on Friday for Lauren Shahadi and Stop studying. and the streetwise Mark DeRosa. I'm Robert Flores. Thanks for watching. <laughs>